Breaking news! Drake May is set to make his NFL debut as a starter Sunday against the Houston Texans. We'll tell you what it means here on Patscast. Welcome to Patscast! I'm Brad Whitaker. Good to be back with you as always. Visit ExpressVPN dot com slash Patscast to get three months off of a 12-month annual plan. Again, that is expressvpn.com slash Patscast. And we finally got the news today that we've all been waiting for for weeks now. Ian Rappaport breaks the news first. It'd be nice if one of the local guys were to break the, this type of news first, but once again, it is a national guy, Ian Rappaport, breaking the news that Drake May will be starting week six against the Houston Texans after a brutal loss to the Miami Dolphins in Week 5, where the Patriots really should have won that game. And to be frank with you, I've been calling for Drake May to be the starter since before the season. Now, I understood sitting him for a little bit, the concerns with the offensive line. But if we're being honest here, looking at how the Patriots performed in Week 2 against Seattle, which was a very close game, this past week against Miami, which was a very close game that they should have won, had Drake May been out there the entire time, we're looking at potentially a 3-2 and two football team right now. And instead, the Patriots have been relying on Jacoby Brissett. They are 1-4. and four. We've been hearing rumors started by Patriots reporter of all people, Evan Lazar, this last week saying there's a potential mutiny happening in the locker room. Coaches turning on each other. Gerard Mayo indirectly calling out offensive coordinator Alex Van Pelt. The Boston sports media saying the Patriots should fire AVP, and I've been critical of AVP quite a bit these last few weeks, but I don't think he should be fired at this point. I think that's a bit premature, but overall, this is the right decision, perhaps made a couple of weeks too late. I think it probably should have happened last week against a Miami Dolphins team that's really struggling in a very winnable game. Instead, Drake May is going to be making his debut against the number three defense in terms of DVOA, the Houston Texans. And that's going to be a tough matchup for him. We know the issues with the offensive line, although they did look a little bit better on Sunday against the Dolphins. And yeah, I know, we were still looking at a 50%, around 50% pressure rate with Jacoby Brissett out there. But I guarantee you that pressure rate is going to start to drop because of who you have at the quarterback position Jacoby Brissett was getting like three plus seconds, three, three and a half seconds to throw the football and still wasn't getting rid of it on time. And that's a big reason why we were seeing the pressure rate so high on Sunday. And I actually think the Patriots might have found their best offensive line combination, which is perhaps the reason why Gerard Mayo, Alex Van Pelt, Elliott Wolf and company had the confidence to finally make this decision, especially when you factor in the recent struggles from Jacoby Brissett, who's really getting sped up out there and not seeing the field correctly, and despite being sped up, still holding the football way too long. But this is an exciting time to be a New England Patriots fan, and a much-needed news story breaking today at a time where, really, it has been nothing but negative news for the Patriots over the last four weeks. You had the Jabril Peppers arrest this past weekend. We don't know what's going to come from that. It's still too early to tell, but i got to say, it's not looking very good. We've had the David Andrews injury, all the captains going down. Now, Jacoby Brissett, the captain to quarterback, being benched. Really not a great time for the Patriots in terms of positive PR, but bringing in the quarterback of the future is a great business decision at the very least because now you have the future out there. And I really think the reason the staff has hesitated to make this move is because at this point, once you have Jacoby Brissett out or or Drake May out there, you have no more excuses, right? You're always waiting on Drake May to finally start and you can always fall back on, well, we don't have our starting quarterback out there yet. Jacoby Brissett's the bridge guy. We're still working on the offensive line. We're, We're on a tough schedule. All of those excuses Now, Gerard Mayo, and especially Alex Van Pelt, are going to be microanalyzed, because if you don't make it work with Drake May, and I know he's a rookie, and this is a rebuilding year, but you don't, if you don't start to see progress being made out there, 
then the pressure really falls. I think Gerard Mayo has at least three seasons, but the pressure really starts to fall on Alex Van Pelt to start to make things happen. Because if we're looking at a team that's finishing with three or four wins once again at the end of the year with Drake May playing three quarters of the season, they're going to want to make a change at offensive coordinator. And that's it. I mean, the Patriots have no excuses at this point. They have their quarterback of the future out there. And we're going to have to start seeing some results relatively soon. Now, I'm expecting them to lose pretty badly on Sunday against Houston, especially with what they did against Josh Allen and the Buffalo Bills this past weekend. This is a tough start uh, for for Drake May. Um, Yeah, I know. It's exciting. Rookie QB in the throwbacks. We have a new hope, right? It's it's really exciting. But this should have happened yesterday. This should have happened weeks ago. And the Patriots are, are going to be trying to dig themselves out of a hole the rest of the season. Or maybe they've already, they already feel like we're throwing the season away, so we might as well put Drake out there. But seeing Caleb Williams struggle early in the season and then getting better as the season goes on, same thing with Bo Nix, Jaden Daniels looking like the potential NFL MVP at this point. That is all you need to see to put a guy like Drake May out there because you know he's going to have his struggles and he's going to learn from those relatively quickly, at least from what we've seen from his development throughout training camp and throughout the preseason. This is a guy that learns with experience, and I don't think his struggles early on as a rookie are going to shatter his confidence in the way that Mac Jones' confidence was shattered in year two and year three of his career. Drake May is a much more resilient individual than Mac Jones. He's a guy who bounces right back up after hits and goes in and makes a big play right afterwards. So I'm really not as worried about the bad offensive line, Drake May taking hits. You know, hopefully he's able to stay healthy out there, but ultimately you have to learn by playing and not by watching. And that's what we've seen with guys like Caleb Williams and Bo Nix, who really struggled early on, but are starting to come into their own. And look, I'm going to call it right now. Drake May is going to throw his first interception in the first quarter on Sunday against the Titans. It's going to happen, and it's going to happen very quickly. And and I hope it doesn't, but that's probably what's going to happen. He's probably going to struggle in the first half, and then we're going to see a completely different guy in the second half because if you watched him at North Carolina, this is the way Drake May plays. He struggles early on in the game, and then as he gets more reps, he gets a little bit more confidence, and then he plays a little bit better as the game goes on. Going to be some rookie jitters out there on Sunday against the Texans, expecting him to throw an interception early and expecting him to look a lot better in the third and fourth quarter um, after he he overcomes some of those growing pains. But this is a guy that I think is going to transcend the learning curve a lot quicker than most of us are expecting. And, And a lot of people expected Drake May to just sit on the bench the entire season and What we saw in the preseason and in training camp of him being able to quickly go through his progressions, make quick reads, get rid of the football quickly, is exactly what this football team needs right now. Because if you watch the film from the last three or four weeks, there are open receivers out there. And Gerard Mayo really struck a different tone in his media interviews post Sunday's game and uh, in his press conference on Monday. And even the New England Patriots on their YouTube channel put in the title that Jacoby Brissett just didn't play well enough. And once I saw that, I was going, okay, it's time. Drake May is probably going to start. We saw the report from Adam Schefter come out yesterday that said Drake May might be taking over week six. And finally, the Patriots decided to pull the trigger. And I'm curious to know who the last holdouts were. If I had to guess, it was probably Alex Van Pelt. We know how much he's enjoyed working with Jacoby Brissett. Had a lot of success with Brissett in Cleveland. He's been the guy who's been saying that Drake May needs to learn by sitting much more than Gerard Mayo, even Elliot Wolf. Finally, Alex Van Pelt, I think, is giving in. But I really hope Gerard Mayo was finally empowered to make this decision because otherwise, he's a head coach in name only. If he can't make these decisions... Then and you're putting it all on the offensive coordinator, who we're all skeptical about at this point as Patriots fans with the lack of creativity out there, the lack of a, a creative scheme on offense. I mean, you, you watch the Kansas City Chiefs last night and what they were doing with Juju Smith-Schuster, and you go, this guy wasn't even good enough to make the Patriots, Like, and, and now he's going off 
with the Kansas City Chiefs and Patrick Mahomes. It's all scheme. It's all offensive creativity. And if you're not going to have an offensive coordinator who is going to put your quarterback in the best position to win and who's not going to be a seasoned veteran game manager, which Jacoby Brissett, I know he's a veteran, but he's not a very reliable game manager. You might as well have just signed Kirk Cousins in the offseason if that's what you're looking for. Then you need a dynamic quarterback out there who's going to be able to make plays with his legs, who's going to be able to improvise, who has the arm strength to throw the ball downfield, but also the ability to get rid of the football in half a second. And that was one of the critiques about Drake May um, before the NFL draft, is that he can be a little bit erratic out there. But then when you actually look at his college numbers and the, the, the X account Scout D really did a great thread back in March breaking this down. You can check out uh, my X account where I reposted that uh, last night. Drake May was actually one of the best in college football last season at getting rid of the football quickly. And I'm hoping that Alex Van Pelt tries to make it a little bit easier for him by really relying on the run. I mean, the Patriots barely ran the football on Sunday, spent most of the game throwing the ball with Jacoby Brissett, which makes no sense with this offense. I would expect... With Drake May out there, we're going to see a game plan similar to what we saw week one against Cincinnati that relies heavily on the run. And even if the Patriots fall behind early, doesn't mean you open up the passing game too much. You know, this is probably going to be a game they lose. But at the same time, this is about giving Drake May reps, having him build his confidence out there, and then maybe opening it up a little bit more as we get later into the game. But We're going to see things that we haven't seen at the quarterback position really ever in New England with a guy like Drake May. Even with Tom Brady, who was a strict pocket passer, we now have a guy that has Josh Allen, Justin Herbert-like traits that's going to be able to make plays um, when the play ultimately breaks down. And that's what Drake May brings to the table. And if he can get to the point where... He's able to to make great reads pre-snap, call audibles, get the team in and out of the huddle, then we're off and running, right? And and maybe this this season is a lost cause at this point, but they do have a lot of winnable games on this schedule. But I'm glad the Patriots are finally doing this now. I think they should have done it at least last week. That's why starting him against the Texans is not ideal. But then you're looking at starting him out in in London uh, uh, against the Jacksonville Jaguars in a week. Is that an ideal time to start? There really is no ideal time to start your rookie quarterback. So the Patriots ultimately decided, we got to pull the trigger now. And good for Gerard Mayo. Good for Alex Van Pelt for finally giving in. And we finally have some positive news. And hopefully it plays out well. Now, we know the issues with the offensive line, as I've mentioned many times. But I think things are starting to come together. I think that might be the best combination they have out there with Vidarian Lowe, sadly at left tackle, is their best left tackle at the moment. And then maybe Michael Jordan at left guard. You can you can swap him in and out with with guys like City So if healthy or Cole Strange when he's back. Um, you don't have David Andrews, but um, Nick Leverett really did struggle on Sunday, unlike the week before against the Niners. He allowed 10 pressures. Um, against the Dolphins, not great, but I think a lot of that had to do with his communication with Michael Wenu, who got kicked back to right guard. The two were missing assignments and allowing a lot of pressures, but hopefully they can start to patch those things up and and make it work out a little bit better that way. But, you know, I I wouldn't expect Leverett and Wenu to play as poorly as they did this past Sunday. And if you can give Drake May just a little bit more time, I mean, th- this is the way the NFL works now, right? Because there's so few padded practices before the season starts. There's not a lot of physical contact. It really takes offensive lines eight to nine weeks to really start to build chemistry. That's why we're seeing struggles with offensive lines all across the league. And I think the Patriots finally have... Maybe their best combination out there. I I know we want David Andrews out there, but I think Nick Leverett is more than salvageable at this point. Michael Wenu is better at right guard than right tackle. The two just need to communicate a little bit better. But Vidarian Lowe, Michael Jordan, played pretty good on the left side of that offensive line this past Sunday. And if they can get the middle to right side looking a little bit better this week, even though they're going against a very good Texans defense, they have a shot at at really building Drake May's confidence. And 
dare I say, maybe a potential upset. I mean, nobody expected the Patriots to win week one against Cincinnati. This would be a much bigger upset if the Patriots were to beat the Houston Texans and avoid falling to one and five. Uh, but I, I, it's not out of the realm of possibility. We know the Patriots, despite all the injuries, despite probably losing Jabril Peppers for an extended period of time, they still have a lot of depth on that defense, and I think they're going to be able to be at least somewhat effective against C.J. Stroud, Stephon Diggs, and company. Um, I'm not sure if Nico Collins is playing for Houston. He might be out on Sunday, so um, there are some opportunities there. We know the Patriots have a very good special teams unit, one of the best in the league this year. Hopefully, uh, uh, Joey Sly is not going to be missing 30-yard field goals once again, but he's been pretty good up until last week. Um, So there's a lot for them to build upon, but I I think sadly this is more of a PR move than a strategic one because the Patriots did have a plan for Drake May. We don't know what that plan ultimately looked like, if it meant bringing him in like halfway through the season instead of a little over a quarter of the way through the season. I think they're making this because fans have kind of checked out. I mean, I'm seeing it on my YouTube channel. Um, I'm seeing it across other podcasts. People are just not watching or engaging with Patriots content as much. Fans have checked out. They're discouraged. We need Drake May out there. We need something to be encouraged about. Robert Kraft needs to sell some jerseys. Like, whose jerseys are the Patriots selling at this point other than Drake May? Like, Judon's gone. Bentley's out for the season. Peppers is may not play again, like, there's, there's so many, like, Kendrick Bourne's probably not selling a lot of jerseys, maybe Polk, like, Hunter Henry, Austin, I don't even know, um, so, finally, the Patriots have a guy who has the potential of becoming a true star, and Drake May brings that to the table, and, again, I think he's gonna struggle first quarter, and I think he's gonna struggle in the second quarter, and then struggle a little bit less as the game goes on, um, and it's probably gonna be a bad loss, but at the very least, you're giving the guy reps, you're giving him some film to look at of himself and something to improve on against a, ve- a very winnable game uh, against the Jacksonville Jaguars across the pond. So, going to be interesting to see what happens, but I'm really happy to see the Patriots finally making this move. I think they should have done it week one or week two, to be honest. But here we are now, one and four, Patriots season, probably a lost cause at this point, but Offensive line starting to come together. The Patriots, we know they can run the football, set a franchise record for a single game on yards per carry despite barely rushing the football on Sunday. I would expect that to change just to make Drake May comfortable out there, have him line up under center, hand the ball off constantly, rely on play action, create plays, short routes, check downs, plays for him to get rid of the football quickly build his confidence a little bit, and then let him open up a little bit as the game goes on. Let him throw downfield. I think the Patriots have a better receiving core than people give them credit for, especially with Kendrick Bourne coming back. Jalen Polk, um, I know he struggled a bit on Sunday, but he was getting open throughout the game. Demario Douglas was getting open throughout the game. And Hunter Henry, Austin Hooper, Kayshawn Booty had a spectacular game on Sunday. Really encouraged by that. We forget how talented Kayshawn Booty really is. He's a guy that Belichick drafted because there were some red flags in college, but had a very good first year at LSU, was a, I think, four or five star prospect coming out of high school. He's finally coming into his own, and I think he can be a real contributor. And Javon Baker hopefully can follow a similar trend heading into next year that Kayshawn Booty has followed heading into this season. And you're kind of off and running, all right? That we know this is a, a two to three year rebuild at this point, and the Patriots are expected to have a high draft pick. Hopefully they can trade that back and just stockpile at the tackle position and give Drake May a great offensive line heading into year two, but it's good that he's getting these reps now, building that scar tissue, and I think he's going to be able to do a lot more with less than what we've seen so far with Jacoby Brissett, who's, who's really just struggled completely these last few weeks, so... Let me know in the comments below, do you think the Patriots have made the right decision starting Drake May against a very good Houston Texans defense on Sunday? Do you wish they had started him earlier? Do you think they're making the wrong decision and should start him midway through the season or later in the season or sit him entirely? Let me know in the comments below. I'm curious to hear from you. And if you're watching this video on YouTube, be sure to smash that like button, subscribe to the channel, hit that notification bell, or subscribe if you're listening on Apple Podcasts or Spotify. 
and we'll see you throughout the rest of the week. Going to be an exciting game on Sunday against the Houston Texans, a milestone game for Drake May and the New England Patriots. Peace,